to death style. 41% fun me, 41 years of age is the average life expectancy of Australian homosexual men. If you have AIDS, 39%. AIDS is not predominantly a heterosexual issue. AIDS is predominantly a homosexual issue. You should study it. In the 80s and the 90s, it grew so big. So that now, statistically in Australia, 86% of people infected with HIV AIDS Homosexual. Homosexuality is not what you do, oh, pardon me, who you are. It's what you do, it's a behavior choice. It's a choice influenced by negative circumstances in your life. A bad upbringing. You see, the Bible says very clearly that parents, husbands and wives that love their children, raise their children in the fear and the admonition of the Lord. We live in a broken society. One in four marriages will end in some form of uh, adultery. One in four husbands commit adultery against their wives in our society. One in five wives commit adultery against their husbands. And friends, homosexuals are not, they're not uh, one in ten. You see, there's a common lie that people say homosexuals make up ten percent of the population. Well, the 2011 census proved that to be low, for sure. Totally. And apparently, the 2011 census said there's only 33,000 homosexuals here in South Australia. 33,000 in comparison to 1.3 million people is nowhere near 10% of the population here locally. And you know what? Australia wide, in our nation of some 22 million people, homosexuals make up only 1.8% of the population. You see, homosexuality is not a good lifestyle choice because that little minority group, 1.8% of the population, doesn't live beyond age 65. Most average life expectancy is about 40 years of age for a gay man. So you sort of say, well, what are homosexuality? People ask us all the time, what have homosexuals ever done to hurt you? Well, they haven't hurt me. I'm not homosexual. I'm not a homophobe. I'm not a
if you don't love him and serve him. And that's just like anything else. It's like any friendship. Many of us have broken friendships. But you know what? Christ, Christ says that if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. And when you serve God and live for God, we'll serve Christ. That's true Christianity right there. And if every single homosexual who puts their trust in Jesus and lives for Christ and surrenders their life to God and repents of their sin, we'll be forgiven and cleansed. You know, there's a condition in the Bible. The Bible doesn't say that God's so all-loving that everyone's going to heaven. It doesn't say that. Because let me ask you this, if that's true, where's Hitler? Is he in heaven? If that's true, where's James Holmes who killed 12 people in the Colorado cinema during the Dark Dark Rises? What are these people? Well, you say, well, they're in hell because they're murderers. Well, what makes you think you're better than a murderer? Because Jesus says if you hate someone and hate the dictionary as strong as like, then you commit murder in your heart. You know, we live in a bitter society. we got husbands and wives who are bitter against each other. They can't even look at each other in the face. They can't even sleep in the same bed. You know, friends, if you've got a bitter relationship and grudges in your life, if you've got brokenness in your relations,
But you, friends, you, you don't know. You don't know Jesus Christ. And that's what we want you to know. We want you to come and know Christ. Know Jesus. You know, that's why I'm happy to be a Christian. Because I'm not. I'm not uh, trying to earn my way to heaven. I'm not trying to earn my favor with God. I just receive forgiveness from Him. By trusting in Him and living for Him. The Bible says, as many as receive Christ, to them He gives power to become sons of God. So we're not 